Hi, my name is Bokhadar Ahmedov. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about how we can find the angle between the two vectors. So let's say you're given two vectors, u and v, and you would like to find the angle between these two vectors. So let's denote this as a theta. And it appears we can find this using the following equation. So the cosine of this uh, angle, theta, between the two vectors, u and v, can be found by just multiplying the u to the v as the dot product, and divide this to the multiplication of the lengths of these two vectors, u norm and the v norm. So please note that this formula works for, for non-zero vectors. Non-zero vectors. So because when, when the vector, one of the vectors is equal to the zero, then the, the, then the two vectors are automatically becoming parallel and perpendicular at the same time. So we are going to discuss about the parallel and perpendicular vectors in our next video. So what we are going to do, first of all, we are going to do an example, so how to find the angle between these two vectors using this formula. Then we will try to prove this formula. So let's say we are given two vectors on the 2D coordinates, so on the rectangular coordinate system. So this is going to be x. And this is the y. So let's say one vector is given with this color, with this component. Of, oh, let me try to do this with more difficult vectors. So let's say we are given a vector uh, u with the components one and one, and at the same time we're given a vector v with the components minus t and minus t, and I would like to find the angle between them. Okay, so I'm going to put them to this formula, the cosine of the angle between them. It's going to be u dot v divided to the norm of the u times to the norm of the v. So I would like to first of all calculate all the ingredients of this formula. So essentially u dot v, it's going to be 1 and 1 times to the minus t and minus t. It's going to be minus t plus minus t, which is going to be minus 4. At the same time, we need to find the norm of the u, which is going to be a square root of 1 in the square plus 1 in the square, which is going to be a square root of 2. And then we can find the norm of the u, uh, v, sorry. So let's find this here. So the norm of the v, it is going to be square root of minus 2, minus 2 in the square, plus minus 2 in the square, which is going to be square root of 8. Right. Then we're going to plug this in everything to the uh, to the formula. It's going to be minus four divided to the square root of two times to the square root of eight. And if you multiply two to the eight, it's going to be square root of sixteen minus four divided to the square root of sixteen. And the square root of sixteen is equal to the four. It's going to be minus four divided to the four, which is minus one. And as you know. The cosine of the pi is equal to the minus 4, so that's why this angle between these two vectors theta is going to be equal to the uh, pi, simply. So this is pi, so that's why the cosine of the pi, because cosine of the pi is equal to the minus 1. Okay, so this is how we are going to use this formula in order to find the, va the angles between the two vectors. And later on, we will see that this formula defines, help us to define the orthogonal perpendicular vectors as well. So let's let's try to prove this formula. So again, we are given this formula. So cosine of the angle between the two vectors is going to be u dot v divided to the u norm and the v norm. So the proof of this formula is super interesting because it reveals a couple of techniques of expanding the vectors, the norm of the vectors. So in order to prove this, I'm going to use so-called um, uh, cosines theorem. So let's say you are given two vectors, this vector u and this vector v. And we've discussed about the subtraction of these two vectors. So essentially, if you would like to subtract the v from the u, for example, then you just need to connect the ending points by putting these two points to the same, right? So we put these two vectors to the same point and then connect the ending points. So this vector, resulting vector, is going to be u minus v, where the direction is going from the negative v to the positive v. Actually, this is the triangle, right? 
and we can define the so-called cosine slow for this triangle. And if you remember, so if you're given the triangle, so let me draw another triangle. So let's say this side of the triangle is A, this side is B, this side is C. And if you are given some, some angle gamma, then the cosine theorem tells you that, hey, uh, for this triangle, C in the square is going to be equal to the A in the square plus B in the square minus 2AB times the cosine of the angle between them. We are going to apply the similar, uh, the same theorem, actually, for this triangle. Okay, where I can't really use the u and v and u minus v, uh, I need to use the lengths, right? So what is the length of the blue side? Uh, what I have to do is I need to find the length of the white side, right? So the u minus v, its norm in the square, right? It is equal to what's a side or the, the length of the blue side. It's going to be the norm of the u in the square, Minus, uh, plus, sorry, the norm of the V in the square minus 2 times is the norm of the U, the norm of the V times is the cosine of the theta. Okay, so by just using the cosine theorem on the top of these two vectors, we have found this rule. This rule. So this, this rule is always going to work because the subtraction of the two vectors is always going to be this resulting wide vector where we can obtain this by connecting the ending points of these two vectors. So at the same time, now let's say you are given these two vectors, u and v. I would like to subtract them and I would like to expand them using the dot product. If you remember, please recall our previous video where we discussed the connection between the norm of the vector and the dot product, we say that, hey, the norm of the vector in the square is equal to the u dot u. The multiplication of a vector to itself is going to give you the norm of the vector in the square. So please uh, go to the, to, to the previous video if you are interested to understand this equation. Uh, we are going to use this equation now to here. So a vector's norm in the square is going to be the multiplication of the vector to itself. So in our case, our vector is u minus v. So this is one unique vector, uh, so one united vector, right? And if you are basically squaring the norm of this vector, you can write this down as the u minus v dot to the u minus v, right? Analogously as for this equation, okay? Because this is one vector. This is one vector. So now I would like to just expand the brackets. It's going to be u times z. So just like one for multiplied to both of the vectors from the second bracket. And then the second vector is multiplied to both of the vectors from the second brackets. So it's going to be u dot u minus u dot v minus v dot u plus v dot v. Okay. Then using the same equation, so let me denote this as a star. Using the star equation, again, we can write down this as the u norm in the square, right? Minus u, nor, uh, u dot v and v dot u are the same, actually. So it's going to be u two times the v, u dot v, the scalar product of the u to the v, plus the norm of the v in the square, okay? So what we did is we've got this equation from one side, We've got this equation from another side. So since the left-hand side of these two equations are the same, then the right-hand side parts, so this part should be equal to this part as well. So essentially, this is the left-hand side 1, and this is left-hand side 2. They are the same. So that is why the right-hand side 1 should be the same as the right-hand side 2. So let's try to equalize them. So if we equalize, what we get is the norm of the u in the square plus the norm of the v in the square minus 2, the norm of the u, the norm of the v times the cosine of the angle between them is equal to the norm of the u in the square plus the norm of the v in the square minus 2 times the u dot v. So you see so some of the terms are the same. So this term is going to be canceled with this one. This term is going to be canceled with this one. I can even multiply both of the sides to the minus. So let's multiply this to the minus 1 over 2. And if you do this, what we get essentially, uh, the norm of the u 
times the norm of the v times the cosine of the theta is equal to the u dot v. Then the cosine of the theta, cosine of the angle uh, between these two vectors is going to be u dot v divided to the norm of the u and norm of the v. So this is essentially very elegant proof of this important, one of the most important formulas for the brackets. And here, I would like to uh, stress out your attention to, uh, to this operation. So uh, uh, actually, we discussed this formula in our previous video. And we say that, hey, we need this for the theoretical or analytical purposes. And this is the reason why we need this. So sometimes we need to expand some vectors, for example, u minus v or u plus v, and we can do the expand the norm of this kind of vectors, and we can do this using the scalar product. Well, in this uh, in this video lecture, we discuss about the formula to find the angle between the two vectors. We try to um, so we try we try to calculate some numerical example, and also we we prove this formula. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope that this was helpful.